All right, I got all my carbon stuff out, and uh, I got this piece of birch I got from Mike Favian. It was part of some other piece, but I, had, I use it when I was doing my leather work, <clears throat> and uh, I hope when I cut cut it down, it'll it'll go away. I hopefully not too bad. Uh, but I want to make a uh, Scandinavian butter knife. This one I got from Laurent. Uh, Link's, uh, what's it? Well, Laurent uh, made this for me. So I'm gonna make make my own. And I'm gonna use the uh, Beavercraft uh, carving tools to make a Scandinavian butter knife. All right, I'm gonna make that uh, Scandinavian butter knife, and I'm gonna be using the, the uh, Beavercraft uh, carving knife. I forget which one, which one this is. I'll have to look it up. But yeah, where does uh, I drew this line? I cut this off with my broke saw. I'll show you that. I broke the broke the tip off my saw. It's a cheap one, anyways. I got this from my brother. For free, so whatever. Maybe I'll uh, grind this down or something. I don't know. Anyways, yeah. So we'll get started with the uh, with this. But I cut it off, and then I'll, I split this right here a little bit. So I just have to go cut along here and here. So we'll just get to doing that with this bad boy, Beavercraft. First we'll just uh, cut along, get it trimmed up to the line, all the way around where we have to cut out, and then we'll uh, measure for uh, measure for the width, what we have to be, and then we can thin it down. We'll also, also have this uh, Beavercraft. Uh, Carver. This is the I think the beginner carver carver one, but it's, it's, look how sharp that is. These are awesome tools. So I'll just keep going and trimming this down and we'll get back to you. So this is where I'm at so far. I got just clean this up. A little bit getting closer just how it is and then I'll gotta go here some some more get it down to pretty close and then when we do our fine work on just like that this side. These bad boys are sharp. Oh, 
just keep going around and getting it all trimmed up. All right, I'll get back to you. All right, this is where I'm at right now. I gotta uh, refix my lines right here. So let's do that real quick. Mine is pretty close to to what it is. Then you gotta adjust it. Because we're gonna be trimming it anyways and so pretty much something like that. And then this has to be trimmed down more and then we'll start with that profile. So we'll get back to you. Um, I'm getting uh, pretty close to our line, so it's got to clean up some of these. It's uh, a little high on one side. Says high. I just need to trim this part. Let's see, we got a little, a little bit of a crack going on right here. But I'll just uh, I'll put some super glue in that. And then, uh, it'll be cool. this down a little bit to even it out because it's off a bit so I'll have to trim some off, off this side trim this off and then uh, trim this off a little bit right here to even it up and then with the light up and see how it goes so we'll get back to you okay I just laid the uh, this other one up against there so I can then I can see where where I need to be kind of lined up right there so I could be right along this edge and then also right here. So it'll line up. And then uh, all right here. And then we'll work on this part. So it looks like it'll it'll work out pretty good. Now we see I got uh, most of this trimmed down so it's uh, lining up a lot better and then we'll readjust that later but I'm just thinning this down a little bit because kind of uh, like that and then we're going to finish this side so it's coming along right along right here And then that means this will line up. This will all line up right here. So I clean that up. This is gonna be this all this whole side's gonna be thinner like this anyway, so it'll be good. Alright, we'll get back to you. Now that's getting uh closer to my shape I need it. Um uh, I'm able to, to get closer and closer to the the other original blank and uh so I can make sure I trim it up just perfectly to match. Check that out. So we'll just keep going at it and then a little bit of time and then look at some spalting action going right there.
that'll be nice in there. And then uh, we'll work on finishing this part up, and then we'll work on this part. Just have to keep the, uh, that nice angle going so I can match these up perfectly. 
and make sure I don't go over too much because then it's going to mess it up. That's where I'm at, folks. Check that out. All right, I'm getting it uh, down closer and closer. And I've been, well, I got it closer, and then I started going like this, so it shaves off little shavings. Look at that. It's got that nice and close. And I did this side as well. So now I just need to do it here. And then, uh, and then uh, just take a sandpaper, sand it. We'll sand a little bit, and now we're gonna start on this. But when we get done, I'll I'll sand some of it. But we'll get it all. Now I gotta finish cleaning this up around here, and then we'll we'll go on from there. All right, it's pretty much done. I'm not gonna. Uh, cut this down anymore I'll just leave it in there It'll give it some character I guess that's it maybe I'll send this a little bit more and, uh, yeah probably send that a little bit, a little bit more Yeah, that's pretty much it. Pretty much done. Check that beauty out, folks. The Scandi Scandinavian butter knife. I got here some uh, bees beeswax and uh, mineral oil. I'll put on here and give it a little seal it up. it'll be a uh, food safe I don't know what else I have to look what else you can put on there I know there's some coconut oil and maybe uh, walnut oil there's some uh, something else I seen too some wood stuff I forget the name but I have to look it up though Just keep rubbing it in, stroking it in. <laughs> no. There it is, folks. My Scandinavian butter knife. That didn't take very long, did it? All right. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.